Right now, let me go and revisit what we just did. So now we have created two great profiles. So our managers in the US will get between $50,000 to $80,000. Correct and my managers are above. In the UK, they will get between 40,000 to 90,000 British pounds. G. B. P. That is the currency that we have defined. And how are we going to identify the population? We have eligibility rules. Country, United States of America. If this condition is met, then I know that this is going to be my manager in the US. And if it is going to be UK, I know that my role is country, United Kingdom. Now, before I proceed to the next point, let me ask you this. Why are there two amounts here? Every, I mean everywhere. Here we have two amounts. First answer is, you realize that they are converting this 40,000 pounds into dollars. Maybe this is because it is converting that to the local, I mean to the default currency. That's what you said. But one thing is clear is that it is converting this 40,000 pounds to dollars. Isn't it? It is converting that. That is why we are seeing those two amounts, and why is it converting? Because this 40,000 is in a different currency, which is British pounds. Isn't it? So that is why it is converting that to US dollars. Now why US dollars? So Vidya's answer was that maybe, because that is the default currency, which is US dollars. But no, that is not why it is converting that to US dollars. It is doing it to US dollars, because this is Logan McNeil's preferred currency. And why is Logan McNeil? Because we are logged in as Logan McNeil. That's all. I mean, this is a common misconception. So that is why I wanted to tell you this. That this is converting it to US dollars, because this is Logan's preferred currency. Okay. It is not related to the default currency that we use. If I change it to INR, the default currency. If I change to INR, it will still continue to convert to US dollars. Let's say you are working in a global organization and you have employees across the world, right? You have workers in Europe, you have workers in Singapore and India and even in Canada, right? So if you're looking at workers from Canada, so their compensation will be in Canadian dollars. Correct. But you from US, if you are looking at that particular worker. So it will show their compensation in Canadian dollars, but it will also convert that into your preferred currency, which is US dollars. So you see, it tells you that this is an estimate in your preferred currency, using the exchange rate one pound equal to one dollar and sixty cents and the date and the reference date for this conversion rate is sometime in 2013. Because in this system, this is a training and demonstration tenant. We do not update the regular exchange rates right. But in a production system, in a real system, they will update this exchange rates almost daily. So you will see a very current exchange rate in the real system. It won't be as old as 2013. So you have the option to change your preferences, right, we saw that. If we go to change preferences, so you can change your currency. Okay, so you see, the preferred currency is US dollars. You can change it. You can change it to British pounds. Something like that, so you can change it to British pounds.
So you see, it depends on what you are comfortable with and which area or which part of the geography you are supporting right. Like, let's say the same goes for time zone. You are working in the system and, let's say, it always shows the things for a different time zone. Will you be comfortable working with every time you have to convert right? You see the time as 9 a.m. and then you look at the watch and you see that, okay, it's 11 a.m. So every time you see something, you know that, oh yeah, I have to convert, right? So, similarly for currency, if always the amounts are in a different currency, let's say British pounds, then every time, for every report that you run, every analysis that you do, you have to keep on converting that to your whatever currency you are using for your reporting, isn't it? So that's why we have this option of a preferred currency. So, if you have a preferred currency, the amounts that you will see on your screen for your reports, everything will be in your preferred currency, whichever you want, right? Okay, so let's say, whatever is the value, I want it converted in US dollars. I don't care what is the currency, right? So that is the reporting currency. You set a currency for your report, right? Everything will be converted to that currency. Then, this is one option. Other option, everything has to be converted in your preferred currency which may be different than US dollars, right? So you can download everything in your currency, whichever currency you want. That is the second option. Third option, you want all the values as is. In the original currency, right? So if you want to download as pounds my pounds as pounds, dollars as dollars, rupees as rupees, you can do that. So you have all. I mean any option, anything you want, you can configure that in the reports. Okay, when we do reports, I will show you. I'll show you how to do that right when we talk about reports. Okay, so if you want, you can download it in dollars. If you want, you can download it in rupees. And if you can download, as is dollars and dollars, rupees and rupees, pounds and pounds, right? Entirely up to you and your reporting requirements. What for you are running that report? What do you want from the report? Based on that, you can do it. All right. So now you see that this is our compensation grade. We have created it. Now let's assign it to our job profile. Okay, so we have created a job profile already. So now we have to edit it. So the task to edit the job profile is edit job profile. Okay. And I have to give an effective date, so 23rd is fine. Now, what is the job profile? We have created a few. So let's use this one chief executive officer. Okay, and once we open it, we scroll down and we have the option to define the compensation grade. Correct. So I will only use this compensation grade. I'm not going to define the compensation grade profile. I don't need to. Now the question is, why not? Can anyone try to answer? Why not? Why am I not needed to define the compensation grade profile? Then how will the range be defined? How will the range be identified? So now what will happen is, if I hire my, if I hire my chief executive officer in the UK, then what will happen? 
it will pick up that 40,000 to 90,000 range right. 40,000, 90,000 British pounds. Correct. If I hire my worker in the US, it will pick up 50,000 to 80,000 dollars. If you want to, I mean, if you are doing it differently, if you have only one grade profile, or let's say, you want to restrict it, or maybe you want to clearly specify which grade profile you want to be used, then you can specify it. No problem. Like, let's say, this job profile is only for the US. You do not want the UK to be even considered. So you will straight away hard code it. I mean, you will straight away specify the grade profile here as well. So if I go to, if I edit the job profile, okay, and then if I go to the compensation grade profile, I have the two right. Managers in the US, managers in the UK. I can select one. Or I can select both. If I select both, what will happen? It will look for the rule. It will look for the eligibility rule. Like which one should I use? What is the condition that is met? Should I pick managers in the US? Should I pick manager or above in the UK? Right. Based on the eligibility rule that is defined in the grade profile. That is what it will use to pick up the grade profile. You have to specify the grade right. Because this grade is a bigger container, because the grade has OK, without specifying the grade, can you specify the grade profile? You cannot specify the grade profile. The grade profile is a child element of the grade. So we have to specify the grade. OK. I used it just for two countries, just for demonstration, because you get the point right, how to do it for two. If I can do it for two, you can do it for twenty as well. Right. You just keep adding those rules in the compensation grade and you keep adding for India, Switzerland, Germany, Singapore. You keep adding right. No, there is no restriction on how many grade profiles you can have in a compensation grade. Okay. So whenever that condition is met, that particular pay range will be picked up. That is the point.